Well, welcome back to episode three. Um, we're going to rejoin the action straight in with me ripping down this um, this piece of four two and um, sorting out the the edge trim. But um, I don't know why the the filming I didn't film putting the uh, putting the top on or putting the vice on. Um, so I thought I'd just very quickly, very very quickly and briefly just um, go through the the process of, of putting the top on. Basically, um, I just cut a door down and screwed it on the top. Probably wasn't worth um, filming, to be perfectly honest. Um, but the vice, the vice is quite much more exciting because uh, there's two. Um, basically, I just offered them up and, and screwed them in from underneath as well. It's quite dull, really, isn't it? That one was bolted on. Yeah, it's quite dull. Anyway. Let's rejoin the action and um, we'll kick off with putting these side trims on. Okay, so I've, uh, I've ripped this piece of um, fork two down and also the adjoining piece on the end um, because if I hadn't, I couldn't actually get the jaw in and out. So uh, now that's uh, just slightly narrower than the, the frame, giving me plenty of room on that. And then uh, I've now got obviously somewhere to uh, to fix a fairly substantial clamp on the uh, on the side, and also it's going to stiffen up the top no end, um, and cover up the uh, the edge of the door, and just make it look a little bit nicer as well, hopefully. So. Uh, I've got the, uh, the sides to do and I'm actually going to leave the back for the, for the time being because it's going to be up against this, um, this wall so there's no point in uh, dressing it up at the moment. Uh, the next job then is to sort out the other drawer which I've got made um, but obviously I need to make a cut out of the vice and put the front on the big drawer, sort out some, uh, some doors and I'm also intending to just put some uh, some new cheek pieces on these uh, these two vice um, firstly to to bring it flush with the, the top bit um, and also to, to make it slightly wider as well give it a little bit more a um, little bit more width so uh, I'm finished dressing up the uh, the side with my my apprentice and then we can worry about doing the uh, the vice another day and get the, uh, the jaw finished as well so hopefully by the end of the day have these um, sorted out and actually use it as some um, a, a working area and also b a storage area. Okay, so this is exactly the same construction as the previous drawer, which is exactly the same method that uh, Norm Abrams, which is exactly the same method that Norm Abrams used on the Yankee Workshop builds umpteen uh, times. It's just a rabbit at the back. Or a housing joint if you're here in the UK. Um, rebates at the front and then a, a trench all the way around in a groove to fit the the back in. I'm going to glue the back in because it's ply. Um, it'll give it a bit more strength. It's not going to move too much, I don't think. So uh, I've got plenty of glue in here. I'm not going to bother pinning it. I'm just going to rely purely on the glue. As you saw, it's fairly. Uh, fairly tight in anyway so I think that would be
leave that about half an hour to cook and that can slot in. I'll put a big drawer in and go have a cup of tea I think. Okay well it's taken the, uh, the new small drawer out of its clamps as you can see and whilst that's been um, been drying I've had been playing around with the the cheek on the inside of this fire. So I've removed the old maple cheek that was on there, you see it was too too low anyway. So I've taken that off and used a piece of uh, 4 by 2 and I've just cut that out on the table saw, the little rebate to fit around the back of the vise. So I've got a nice cheek that flows and what I'm going to do is plane down a piece of uh, horn beam but slightly longer and fix that across so it's a little bit wider and then have a new slightly wider um, outer cheek to, to fit the vise. But at least now we can use that um, and we'll get the small drawer in. I'm not going to get a huge amount in here, maybe some, some router bits down the we'll see. Just need to put a half oh, happy with these um, bits of forward two. I'll cut this one, rip this one down slightly to give me a bit more clearance on the uh, on the drawer front. But uh, we had some friends, kids over today, and they wanted to help, so they drilled all the uh, pilot holes and counter sunk them and fixed that on. And they've made a good old job, considering he's only I think nine years old. He's he done a good job on that. So uh, well done to uh, little Jack for that. So uh, yeah. We're getting there. I've decided to fix a little framework to the back of this um, worktop to basically screw this to uh, stop things rolling off the back and stop that falling down. Also, I can hang a few things on there as well. So I'm just going to knock this little frame up at four two. So cut it to size. And I'm just going to screw it together. I'm just going to use a couple of four inch screws now um, on either side just to basically hold it onto the, uh, the trim at the back there just to stop it falling over. see me do um, obviously fit the vise which is just a case of slinging it straight underneath um, I actually bolted it in two plate well um, with some big heavy duty coach screws I think they were in the end um, the the main vise into the subframe and I put an extra piece in underneath the table to, to give you something extra to bite to um, the tail vise was bolted on it's only a small um, small bolt. The, the drawers were fitted, um, I covered the fronts with an extra piece of ply so you, there's a kind of double rebate on the uh, on the front corners and then I just had these metal, I think they're quite cool actually, um, tall, draw pulls, um, I think they were left over from when I redid somebody's kitchen or something or changed some handles and they didn't want them so uh, I just happened to have a, a long one and a short one. Um, the only other thing is I put a little block in there just to stop because obviously the, the drawer sides are only half the depth of the, the drawer opening and then uh, just put a couple of blocks in to stop it from, from tipping too much. I haven't obviously done the tool organisation thing, either. this is still just got bits of, um, bits of scrap which maybe one day they'll come out and do that when I've got a, a decent option. Um, I'm going to do the 
um, pillar drill stands next, so maybe they'll go under under there. I don't know. And um, the the divider here to take the um, the way is just cut down a piece of four by two, um, and it's glued. It's only buck joint. It's not really going to take a big pounding. And obviously the um, four by two stretchers. I'm not going to put doors on it. Um, I'm going to go with the the Velcro screen, as I said. So um, and, and maybe put a, a coat of um, a couple of coats of thick varnish on the on the top, um, but probably not. To be perfectly honest. So I um, hope you've enjoyed watching, and hope you're all still watching, and you haven't faded out halfway um, halfway through. But uh, if you have enjoyed it, then you know please do comment. I welcome all comments, and I do try to reply to them all. Um, find me on all the uh, the social networking sites. There's links in the description box, and be sure to subscribe because there's other projects coming up where I'll be using this bench. Um, and also the bench hook that I made, which will finally the two will go together at last. Um, and hopefully as the, the channel progresses, you'll see things um, evolving as well. So uh, until then, stay safe, keep your fingers out of blades and uh, join us again soon.